All right, hello everybody. Welcome to all who are thinking about living on campus here at the University of Nebraska at Omaha. Um, we are providing this housing info session and this is gonna focus specifically on our housing application process. Um, so before we do that, um, we are going to introduce ourselves here. So my name is Taylor Brewer. I am the leasing professional here for Scott Campus, one of our properties here at for UNO Housing. Um, my role is basically I oversee our leasing and signing process here. Um, so I'll help you through the leasing signing process and I will also kind of get you through the door and make sure you're ready to go to live on campus. All right, Demaya. Hi, my name is Demaya Valdivia. I am the housing operations coordinator. My role is to correspond if you guys have questions over the phone or through email at our UNO housing contact information. I also help assign your rooms when you um, get your roommate assignments, things like that, help you send um, contracts out. So all the back end stuff I kind of do. Cool, thank you. All right, so now we're just gonna kind of go into um, what UNO housing is. So our first thing that we're gonna talk about is our different properties um, here on campus. So here at UNO, there are two different campuses that provide UNO students on campus housing. So the first one we have here is Dodge Campus, and that's the one that kind of Demaya oversees. And there's two properties on Scott on Dodge Campus, sorry, that um, Dodge oversees. So it would be Maverick Village and University Village. Um, on Scott Campus, uh, we do have four different properties. The three listed here are Scott Crossing, Scott Village, Scott Court. And we also have Scott Residence Hall, which is strictly for Walter Scott Jr. Scholars. All right. So um, just we want to get you to know the basics just about on-campus housing. So here we strive to provide a variety of housing options. And we want to make sure that you find out which one is right for you. Um, and so in order to do that, we got to teach you the basics here. So the first thing, we have different lease types here on campus. Um, the first one is an annual lease. So that would be from August to July. So you would live here on campus for the fall, the spring, and the summer. Our second lease type would be an academic lease, which you would just live on campus from August to May. So that would only be the fall and then the spring terms. So also um, we have different floor plans for every different lease type. Our most common um, on both campuses would be a four bedroom, two bathroom unit. Um, for Scott campus, we do offer different types of floor plans. So we have three bedroom, one bathroom, and two bedroom, one bathrooms. Um, and that's just kind of depending on availability. Um, so if you have any questions regarding floor plans or anything like that, um, we do have virtual tours of all of our floor plans on the UNO housing website. Um, so if you have any questions or actually want to see what all of those look like, that would be the place to go. Um, another thing that's important about UNO housing is we do have all utilities, so electricity, gas, sewer, water, internet, et cetera. They're all provided in the one all-inclusive rate that's going to be on your lease agreement. Another thing that we have, which we get as a common question, is are our apartments fully furnished? Yes, they are. Um, so we do have different furniture within the apartment that's all included when you move in. Um, and you can also see the, those fully furnished apartments in that virtual tour. So I recommend you check those out. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the housing application process and how to start doing that. So we want to remind you of a couple of things before. Um, so one of the first things is if you're wanting to apply for housing, you have to be admitted to UNO before you can even apply. Um, also, the application for housing should be completed by the student. So you shouldn't have a parent do it just because the student will have the most up-to-date information regarding their status. Um, and then also, once you're admitted to UNO, you should have access to what's called your MavLink account. Um, and so the housing application, and I'll talk about this in a step-by-step -step process here within the next couple of slides, will be accessed through MavLink. Another reminder is to use a personal email. Um, we get a lot of people who, when they apply for UNO housing, um, they apply using a high school email. 
once you're done with high school, you're not going to be able to have access to that high school email. So we recommend always that you use your personal email so we can send you information even after you graduate. Another thing before applying, you need to consider that there is a $260 deposit and application fee. So the $260 is split up into two ways. So $60 of that $260 is a non-refundable application fee. So when you're going through that application, you will pay that $60 and that cannot be fund refunded back to you. The second half of that is $200, and that is for a security deposit to put down for your housing. And that can be refunded at the end of when you check out of on-campus housing, uh, depending on if there are any damages or anything like that. Another thing that we offer for the housing application is deferring um, the $260 deposit and application fee. Um, so if you're applying for it now and you're not enrolling classes quite yet, or it's not necessarily um, viable for you to pay that $260 directly up front when you're applying. We do offer the deferment onto your fall MavLink account. Um, so yeah, that's also something to consider when you're filling out that housing application. All right, so next, now that we have those reminders before applying, now I'm going to go into the step-by-step -step process on how to exactly get to the UNO housing application through your MavLink account. So here I kind of have a picture of basically what would show up. So the first step to applying is accessing the UNO website. So, and then clicking on the My UNO button in the top right corner. Um, this will bring you to all of the student resources that are provided to you. On there, there will be an access to MavLink button and you're gonna click to that. And then this is how you get to that page. So first of all, just start off by going to the UNO website. You'll look for the student, the My UNO, and then call it good and you'll get here. So this is where you log in for MavLink. So there's a couple of different options that you can log in with. Um, if you have been officially accepted to UNO, then you should receive an email with your net ID and NUID. So the NUID is basically an eight digit number that is your Nebraska unique identifier. Um, so you'll be able to log in that way um, and you'll wanna make sure that you've been admitted and everything like that before accessing this. All right, so once you log into your MavLink, you will want to, to access the left side ladder and look for the admissions tab. So once you click on that admissions tab, you should see an apply for housing button. This will open up a new browser and take you to the UNO housing application in a new tab. All right, so now that new browser should open up the housing application portal. So this is exactly what you're gonna see when you're applying for housing. So the next step is you can kind of see that home uh, area with a ladder. You're gonna click on that towards the left side and it will take you to fill out your information after that. So that's kind of how you get the step-by-step -step process on how to apply for housing on your MavLink account. All right, so when you're filling out um, the housing application, there's a couple things that we wanted to cover just to make sure that there was no confusion when you were filling out the housing application. So one of the biggest questions that we get um, and one of the most important items on the housing application um, is the housing preferences section. Since UNO has two campuses with different properties and then different lease types along with that, um, we ask that students fill out their housing preferences while submitting their application. So on this application, you're gonna be required to rank your top five choices of which type of housing you would prefer. And just to note, our housing team tries our best to ensure that applicants receive their preferences. However, it is based on what lease types are available. So. When you rank those top fives, you have to look at the property and the term. So I have a couple examples there that would show up on our housing application. That first one is a Scott Court Annual. So if you see that and you choose that for one of your preferences, this indicates that you want to live on Scott campus in our Scott Court property and want an annual lease. So an annual, remember, is for the fall, spring, and summer terms. Another choice that you'll be able to have on there is University Village Academic. This indicates that you want to live on Dodge Campus in the University Village property and that you also want an academic lease, which academic is the fall and spring terms. All right, so some other things when you're filling out the housing application, 
um, you will want to be enrolled in 12 credit hours. So one of our main housing requirements for UNO is that you must be a full-time student to live in housing for the fall and spring terms. If you're on an annual lease and you're interested in that, so living here for the fall, spring, and the summer, you are not required to be a full-time 12 credit hour student just in the summer. So I just wanna make sure you're, uh, you are aware of that. Um, but for the fall and spring, you are required to be a full-time student. So another thing that you shouldn't forget and will also be on the housing application as a couple of choices are that UNO offers living learning communities and also themed housing. So it's gonna ask you a couple questions about that on if you're interested in um, going into those. So I wanted to kind of uh, differentiate the difference between our living learning communities and then our themed housings. So our living learning communities are scholarship based housing. They're gonna be in a specific property here on campus. And some examples of those are our Honors, which are located in Maverick Village, our Thompson Learning Community, which is also on Dodge, our Walter Scott Jr. Program is in our Scott Residence Hall, Entrepreneurship Living Learning Community is gonna be in Scott Village, the Peter Kiewit Engineering Academy is in Crossing, our CBA Scholars Academy is in Crossing, and there's more than that, trust me. Um, so then our themed housing is open to any student and it'll ask if you're interested in living there on the housing application. So some examples of themed housing would be our indigenous students, our Greek life, and if you're interested in sustainability or if you're interested in wellness, those will all be an option to you on the application and are open to any student. All right, another thing and another common question that we get when people are filling out the housing application is, I have a friend that I wanna live with, how do we guarantee that we can live together? So we just wanna remind you that you have to have the same lease type and the term to live together. So when we were talking about different lease types, you have to make sure that both of you got a Scott or a Dodge campus lease. You have to make sure that it's in the same property. So both of you have to have a lease for Maverick Village. One can't live in university or Scott Core or anything like that. It would have to be in the same property. And then not only that, it has to be the same term. So a Maverick, or no, here, I'll use an example of Scott, sorry. <laughs> a Scott Crossing academic student cannot live with a Scott Crossing annual student. They have to be the exact same lease type to live together. So when you guys are filling out the housing application, make sure you guys are communicating about which lease types you guys put as your preferences. All right, so after you have filled out the housing application, um, there will be a couple of next steps um, that we just wanna inform you of. So the next thing is, um, once you fill out that application, our office at UNO Housing is gonna review it. And then also you'll determine if you're accepted into housing. So we'll make sure that you qualify um, make sure that you're going to be a full-time student and all of that good stuff. After that, uh, we plan to send out contracts in early 2024. Um, so just make sure you're looking out for that. That'll be sent through your personal email um, that you put on your housing application. That's why it's so important to use your personal email and not a high school email. Um, and then also, if you figure out and you fill out that housing application, you realize that, hey, I actually found someone I want to live with, but I've already filled out my housing application and they chose different housing preferences than I. Um, if you ever want to change your housing preferences that you initially put on your housing application, there is always an option to change those housing preferences. What we do ask you to do is email unohousing at unomaha.edu with those changes and we'll kind of make sure to coordinate there. Um, so there's always an option to change them. You just need to inform our office of your plans. All right. The next thing is, since this is just kind of a recording, um, we're not going to have any questions. However, if you, after watching this, realize you have a couple of extra questions that we didn't cover here, um, the UNO housing at unomaha.edu email is open um, and you can ask any questions. Um, also, they have their phone number, which is at 402-554-6605. You can give them a call. Um, Demaya, I'm pretty sure the office would be open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Is that correct? That's correct. Perfect. Yeah, so you can call anytime during there during our business hours, and we'll be able to assist you there. 
Um, another question is normally, uh, we get it, you know, you're maybe thinking about UNO as an option. And so obviously you want to see it firsthand before you um, apply or sign a contract. So if you ever need a tour, um, you can always come down to our UNO housing office. Um, they'll be able to show you around campus, show you different housing options and all of that good stuff. Um, do you have any questions or like anything additional you want to add to that, Demaya, about your housing tours or anything? No, I think you know that all um, students can also come in and just show up at one of our clubhouses on campus and we're able to give tours like that as well during business hours. So that's also an option if you are just on campus and want to stop by. Cool. Awesome. Well, yeah, that is the end of the segment. Um, if there are any other questions or anything like that, always feel free to email or give a phone call. Thank you for watching.